Isidore Seaman was born in 1916 in Baltimore, Maryland. His family included three brothers and one sister. His father had a series of businesses, but never really made a good living. His mother was the strong parent, very intelligent, and determined to protect the family and assure a good education for her children. In high school, he discovered acting, and thus began a lifelong passion for the theater. After high school, he joined an amateur theater company, the Vagabond Players. He acted or served on the stage crew for 39 plays over the next several years. In one production, he played the role of Sam the Barber, thus earning him the nickname that would stick with him through today. But it was time to earn a living. In 1936, he followed his brothers to Maryland State Teachers College at Towson, and then on to teaching in the Baltimore City Public Schools. He also followed his brothers in taking night school classes to further his education. In one such world history class in 1939, he met a girl, Shirley Cohen, and they soon became boyfriend and girlfriend. His life changed in 1941 when he was diagnosed with tuberculosis. At that time, the only treatment was bed rest, and so he spent 14 months at the Mount Pleasant Sanitarium, giving him plenty of time to reflect on his life's goals. No one, he felt, needs to get tuberculosis. Public health can prevent communicable diseases. And so he decided he would pursue public health after his discharge. He went to work for the Baltimore City Health Department, and there was marriage to Shirley Cohen. While at the health department, in the early days of television, he developed, wrote, and performed as a physician in a weekly educational TV show, Your Family Doctor. In 1947, David was born. In 1949, the family moved to the Washington area so he could take a challenging new job with United Community Services. Johnny arrived in 1951, and Philip in 1958. Sam rose to become executive director of United Community Services, but he saw a need for a larger region-wide agency to coordinate community services, so in 1957, he designed and led the creation of the Health and Welfare Council of the National Capital Area and served as its executive director for the next 15 years. One of the efforts he supported was Lyndon Johnson's Model Cities program, and he was invited to the White House for the bill signing and to meet the president. He followed his HWC tenure with a move to the federal government in 1972 and held a series of executive positions with the Department of Health, Education and Welfare and its successor HHS until his retirement in 1992. And, as if that wasn't enough, he contributed in a number of other ways. At Kaiser Permanente Mid-Atlantic, he served on the Kaiser Board of Directors, as well as several institutional review boards. He served as president of the Metropolitan Washington Public Health Association and founded the Metropolitan Washington Public Health Assessment Center. And he served as president of the Reconstructionist Havara of Greater Washington for over 15 years. In addition to work life and public service, family has always been important. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see the blue for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white, the bright blessed. 
as the day The dark sacred night And I think to myself What a wonderful world The colors of the rainbow And the love of theater never left. Several years ago, Sam wrote and performed a one-man play about the life of Beethoven. In 2006, after the passing of Shirley, a new partner entered Sam's life, Marilyn Wilner, each of them now having someone again to share life and care for. <laughs> <laughs> 